Well, this Friday is International Day of the Woman, and keeping with that, we uh, begin introducing you to the four local finalists in our 2024 Remarkable Woman contest. Each Tuesday this month, we will meet one of the Bay Area's most remarkable women chosen in our News Channel 8's Remarkable Woman contest. And more than 100 people entered the contest, nominating the remarkable women in their lives by writing essays submitted to our panel of judges. And Jen Lee joins us in studio to tell us about the first of our four Remarkable Women finalists. They are some incredible ladies. The remarkable woman you are about to meet is known as the chief change maker in her nonprofit organization. She founded it after she and her family fell into a dire situation, one that affects many people around the globe. At first, it may not look like it, but Laura Bray is busy changing lives, helping heal the very ill, dozens and sometimes hundreds at a time. Laura tracks down life-saving drugs in short supply for people who desperately need them. It's a mission that began with a single patient, her precocious nine-year-old daughter, Abby, who was dealt a devastating diagnosis Thanksgiving weekend of 2018. It was a phone call and our pediatrician said, there are blasts in Abby's blood. There's a bed waiting for her at St. Joe's Oncology Unit. Pack a bag, plan to stay, get there now. Abby had leukemia, but there was hope. Doctors said it was treatable and curable. And that, but it would be depend on this very long, arduous protocol that would, you know, be more than two years, maybe three. Treatment went well for the first few months until... We were told, you're not going to get this medicine today. It's on shortage. And Abby, you know, she caught it right away. You know, she's quick, smart, witty, and fierce. She doesn't let things go. And she just said, what do you mean? Laura promised Abby she would find her medicine. Luckily, I was a business professor. I did have knowledge about supply chain and global supply chains. While no medical knowledge or no pharmaceutical knowledge, um, you know, I know how business works. I know how business speaks. I know how, you know, stakeholders work and supply chains work. Laura was able to help Abby quickly, but still, she didn't stop there. I knew that there were other families hearing those same words. And little help available. I couldn't sleep at night, and I, I asked myself, is this my purpose? Is this what I was made for? That's when Angels for Change, Laura's volunteer mission to end drug shortages, was born. Almost immediately, patients and even hospitals started calling Angels for Change for help. Laura says now the challenge is moving the mission to end drug shortages forward. She's even taken the issue to Washington, speaking before the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. But together, we can ensure no child will ask their parent, will I die if I don't get my medicine? Thank you. Wow, thank you. Don't get in the way of a mama and her baby, I'll tell you that much right now. Laura tells us Abby is doing well and looking forward to celebrating five years cancer-free. Nice. But in the meantime, she does say that more than 300 drugs are still considered in shortage, so her work continues important work at that. I do want to tell you we will name our local winner next month, and that winner will receive $1,000 to donate to the charity of her choice, plus a free trip to Hollywood for Next Star's Remarkable Woman Gala, nice. and a nice. chance to be named the National Next Star Woman of the Year and win a $10,000 cash prize. Nice. Next Star, of course, being our, our parent right. company. company. And yes. the yes. toughest job is there's so many out there doing amazing, this incredible things. This is the things. first of four. I yes. can't wait for you to meet the other three Remarkable and how Women. how frustrating. The, the, the job of trying to survive this is hard enough, let alone not get the, the medication, medication you need. You need. Yeah. So she found her calling. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.